Hello there and welcome to my guide to choosing the right estate agent. Vital if you want a smooth sale at the best price. I'm Phil Spencer and this Move IQ channel is packed with top property tips. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you're sure to get the inside track on all things home related. Now, when you're selling your home, you want to choose an estate agency that you trust to do the best possible job for you. After all, your agent will be representing you and your home to potential buyers. I put together the killer questions that you should ask any agent. To save you from having to make notes, we've created a checklist with all the questions you need. Just go to moveiq.co.uk. There's a link below. And sign up or log in to get my checklist absolutely free. Ideally, I think you want an estate agent who is experienced, enthusiastic, and helpful. I always suggest asking three or four local agents to visit your home before making your decision. And these are the questions that you should ask. First, do you have any hot buyers you could contact to arrange to view my house? How long is your average property taking to sell? How many properties like this one have you sold in the last three months and what have they sold for? I think that is a key one because you want to be sure that your agent is experienced at selling your type of house, your area at your price bracket. Next up, are most of your properties selling for the asking price? And if not, what's the average discount? You want to know which property websites they advertise on. Although the internet is increasingly the most important marketing tool, you'll also want to know about the size of their mailing list and where else they advertise. Do ask if they belong to a professional body like the National Association of Estate Agents or the Property Ombudsman. Now quiz them about the price they suggest marketing the property at and what, realistically, they expect it to sell for. Find out how they decided on that number and see details of similar properties they've sold to prove it and back it up. You'll also need details of their fees, any additional costs whatsoever, plus their terms of business. Make sure you aren't tied into an exclusive marketing period for more than four to six weeks. A bit of advice here. I'd be wary of making a decision based purely on valuation. I see many properties that don't sell simply because the asking price was set too high. As time goes by, the house doesn't sell and new buyers assume that there's a problem with it. In these instances, the house ends up being sold for less than it would have been if it had been realistically priced in the first place. And that's a crying shame. So if one agent prices your property much higher than the rest, ask why they feel they could sell it for more than their competitors. See what they say? So there you have it. Download my list of top questions to ask and you'll be on your way to getting the best estate agent to help you sell your most valuable asset. Good luck and please do join me next time. Thanks for watching.